This time on Metal Magic, we're going to drill some holes the right way. Hi, this is Paul Dye. Let's talk about how we drill accurate holes in aluminum. It's a fundamental skill if you're building a metal airplane. First thing you need to do is measure accurately. Now we don't have anything in, sp in specific that we're working on here. So we'll just draw a nice accurate line about a half inch from the edge of our sheet and mark it with a fine line Sharpie. That's not a, um, not a fine marker, it's a fine line. So you want to get a very, very fine uh, Sharpie. And for some reason, blue seems to last the longest. So we draw a nice straight line and let's just go ahead and put one here a half inch from the corner. Let's we'll do a couple of them, all a half inch apart. So very small marks, just make them very, very accurate. And so now we know where we're going to need them. And you want to line your punch up accurately both directions and give it a pop. Okay, so now we've got the location for those three holes. Okay, the most critical step for getting a nice straight hole is to look for the reflection of your drill bit in your workpiece to make sure that you're going perpendicular to your spot. We're lined up, we're, we're set in our detent, and we have a nice accurate hole. Again, put it in your detent, line it up so that the reflection is straight, and away you go. One other little trick to make sure that you're actually in your spot is to just pulse the, pulse the uh, trigger a little bit at the very start. Now that enlarges your divot and makes sure that it's going to stay accurate. So there we have nice three holes in a straight line on the line. Some of the tricks you're going to run into or that you might want to use is make sure that you're not pressing too hard when you have thin sheet metal because you can actually end up to crease it a little bit. Let the drill do the work. If the drill isn't moving and actually making chips, your drill is probably dull. If you push too hard, you can actually end up overheating it and you can end up deforming your sheet. By letting the drill do the work, I'm really not pushing very hard. I'm just kind of letting it crawl its way through. And for a thin piece of sheet metal like this, it should just take a couple of seconds and you're done. Okay, so the holes we just drilled were in fairly thin sheet metal, about 20 thousandth. You're going to be using that thickness in, uh, in most airplanes. You're going to be using uh, 32 thousandths, and you're going to move up to 40 thousandths, and eventually you're going to end up having to drill material that is, that is an eighth or a quarter inch thick for longerons, big angles, and the like. So let's talk about drilling something uh, in, uh, this looks like quarter inch material. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, center punch that so that we've got our nice little divots to start in. All right. Now, rather than starting out with the full size hole of an eighth inch, if that's what we're drilling for, we're going to start with a smaller one, which is the number 40 drill bit. And we're going to take and do that because it's going to make our initial hole more accurate. Then we'll upsize it. So let me drill a couple holes here. Again, I just pulse it so that we're making our divot. And again, I'm letting the drill pull its way through. I'm not pushing terribly hard. Um, if it's getting too hot and we're starting to melt, then we're, we're pushing too hard. Just crawls its way through. And you'll notice that I'm just drilling right on through the table. That's um, the way we build metal airplanes. So if you have a really nice formica, formica table, you're going to end up with a lot of holes in it. That's why we use a surface with sacrificial wood. Okay, so now we have those three holes 
at a number 40, and we're going to upsize them to an eighth inch, number 30. And you'll find that this goes very quickly because you already have a hole, and the hole is already going in the direction you want it to go. Now you're going to do this a lot. Um, upsizing to a final size is uh, pretty much standard. A lot of kits are pre-drilled to the initial size just to locate things and then you'll have to drill them up to a final size that you're actually going to rivet. You'll also be doing a lot of drilling on thick material when you're doing longerons or primary structure. Drilling holes in aluminum or in steel is probably the primary skill that you're going to need to build a metal airplane. You're going to do a lot of it. Therefore, you want to practice. Almost every metal airplane kit out there will come with some scrap material. If it doesn't, buy some scrap material. It's not expensive. And practice, practice, practice. Practice getting your hole going exactly where you want it, starting it so that it's right on your straight line, and make sure that you're crawling through and not melting your way through. You'll be able to tell if you're melting your way through because you'll end up with clogging your, your drill bit with uh, melted aluminum. So practice, practice, practice. Um, until you've drilled a hundred holes, don't start drilling holes in your actual metal parts. One of the things to remember is that it's hard to underestimate the importance of a sharp drill bit. You can build an airplane using just a few drill bits if you're careful with them, but once you hit them on a rock, hit them on some steel, they start dulling, you're going to discover that, uh, that you just lose the efficiency in drilling. So if you don't have a good, nice, clean hole, go ahead and change your drill bit. Uh, they're just not that expensive. Drilling the holes is just the first step in preparing this part for riveting. We still have to deburr it, clean them up, make sure that they match, and we'll cover that in our next episode of Metal Magic.